from the two teams. So it looks like it's the Spyrites to get us underway. Shoot towards the north stand in this first half. We usually perform better when we're shooting towards the cops, so hopefully lots of goals second half. My score prediction is going to be 3-1 Chesterfield. We've got to keep going after that brilliant result against Gates here last week. Come on then, we're underway here for this massive National League fixture. tough test, one of the final tough tests of the season at home I'd say. I feel like if there were anyone to end our home unbeaten streak it'd be these. These all south end next week. You can tell Altering and like a lot of the ball, they've been keeping it pretty well. I don't think we've had much of the ball at all since opening five minutes. Dominating possession Altering him. Look at him here. He's not offside, says the line out. Naylor does well. Could do with an early goal. I always say that, but yeah, it would really help in a game like this where it's going to be difficult to find many chances. Come on, Grimes, you stick with your man. Stick with your man. <laughs> Got to stick with the men. Can't be letting them do that. Fans are starting to get a bit frustrated because I feel like we are getting a bit outplayed at the moment. Oh. Don't know if it's the nerves that are getting to us or because we are playing dreadful. Look at this. I was all and not sticking with him. No. Come on, we need to we need to we need to switch on, honestly. Because this is a bit of a piss take. I don't know if the cold is getting to us or what because we are not playing our usual football. Come on! It's against the run of play, but we don't care. It's only Banks. He's put it in the back of the net. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. That should hopefully settle some nerves. It's a brilliant play. Played across the box to Banks. Who puts it in the back of the net? his way through the defenders, eventually whacked out for a spar right throwing. And yeah, I can't see us conceding unless we make a major cock up because I think we've been pretty solid since then. Oh, do we need another ball? That's two gone over in the space of like two minutes. And they're in. That is woeful. Time it's Chesterfield one, Altrincham one. Altrincham equalised on the stroke of half time, but that entire half was below par, 100%. The, the, the goal we conceded was just dire. Right, so the Chesterfield players are back out. Hopefully, um, a more energised and uh, emphatic Chesterfield side because um, really need an improvement on that second half. Ulti players soon to follow and. Uh, then we'll get underway for the second half. But here come the ulti players. Anyways, we're underway for the second half. Really need to push on. Look for a winner. Fans really starting getting riled up now. In a good way. Geeing up the players. Go on, Dobra. Go on. Oh, it's such a bad first touch. But come on. Foul or not, and a penalty, it's debatable, but corner, another chance to get it in. Someone's down, I actually can't tell who it is. I'm just scanning the pitch and seeing who we're missing. It might be Palmer. Yeah, Palmer, it's Ash Palmer. Palmer's down, and that could be worrying. What? What is that? Ollie, come on, mate. Come on. Mandeville for Jacobs. 
and hopefully Barry Fedobra. Glad to see Liam Mandeville on. He'll offer a bit in attack. Because if we can. Go on! Go on! Shoot! James, take him. All right. What? How can he wave that off? What? He's giving, a, he's giving a free kick to them. It's Pumpkin Berry. What? That was not a dive. So with him shooting range, Tyra's got to be on his high alert. I feel like he's going to bury this. Whoever's taking it, it is Cron Clark. And I feel like he's going to bury it. Way! All that for bloody nothing, he's fired over.